Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I wanted to talk all things back to school. So we have now completed our first year of homeschool, which is super exciting. So the girls were in TK this past year and now they're gonna be in kindergarten. So I wanted to do a recap and just kind of walk you through some things that I really loved about this year, some things I'm gonna be changing for this coming school year. I'm also gonna be sharing a back to school haul. I got clothing, shoes, school supplies, a bunch of back to school stuff and everything is from Walmart. Today's video is sponsored by Walmart. We have been shopping there lately for a lot of stuff. We have one very close to us, so we're there quite often getting random things that we need. But lately, I have been in particular very impressed with our kids' clothing and shoes. Owen has very wide feet and I have been, I just like since he was born, have the hardest time finding shoes for him. And also they outgrow them so fast. So I'm not gonna be spending a ton of money on his shoes. So they, right now I just found, I found them in store. They have a Munchkin and Stride Right line and they're so affordable compared to the regular Stride Right ones. Also shared a couple favorites that we've had for a really long time from Walmart and something cool that they're doing for back to school for your kids, for their class that they're going into for the new year, you can type in your zip code on their website and it'll show you all of these supplies that your child needs for their class. Depending on their teacher and what's required, you can literally like click everything, add all to cart, or you can pick and choose. So just really easy, convenient. I'm gonna link everything that I share from them down in the description box. And I did little text overlays of how much everything costs. So you can see how affordable everything is, especially with back to school. I feel like, you know, if you have multiple kids, it can really add up with all the stuff that you're purchasing. So it's great to be able to stick to a budget. But their stuff is also just really good quality and it's really cute. So I hope you guys enjoy all the stuff that I picked out for them. Actually, the girls picked all their stuff out. So you see what they picked out. So let's get started on the haul. Okay, I laid out all the clothes to show you guys first. And I also went in Owen's room. He's gonna wake up any minute to grab some other stuff that we already have that I wanted to show you that I love. Okay, let me show you the shoes first. I really need to clean up this house right now. These are the shoes I was talking about. I'll show you what his look like right now because today we went to this place called Mud Play Cafe and you just play in the mud outside and we uh, need to do some cleaning for his shoes. <laughs> but here they are nice and clean. So they're by, they're Munchkin by Stride Right. Oh, and it says machine washable. So those will go in the laundry right now. Those are in a size 10. I got him a size 11 here. And I'll just put the price of everything that I share over the screen so you guys can see it. I'll have to go look up everything. But aren't these so cute? They had a couple other colors. He loves these ones. He wants to wear these all the time. It has been 90 degrees every day. And every time I go to put on flip flops, he asks for his sneakers. I also got him these for the fall. <laughs> They're adorable. So I got them in a 10 originally and they were a little small. So we sized up to an 11 and I think those are gonna look so cute. For the girls, I got them these boots. Now I got them a size, they're a size 13, but I got them a size one because I feel like in boots you wanna go a little bigger. They picked these out online and I think they'll look so cute with all their little outfits coming up. Do you like these, Violet? Yeah. We'll try them. She goes, can I wear these when you're done? <laughs> So I got those and then the dresses that I got to go with those for the girls are these little denim chambray dresses. The brand's Wonder Nation, which is the brand at Walmart and they have tons of cute things. Uh, like I was saying, they're a small, so it's 6S. Six, six oh, these were $12.98. And I think they had an olive, no, not olive green, like a light charcoal color as well. Also got them some of these Wonder Nation tights to wear under these dresses and other dresses for the fall time or skirts. I got them a medium. It says size seven to, to 10, but I think they might start, or shrink a little. Okay, so funny. So I showed Owen, this box came a few days ago and I showed him these outfits that I got for him and he was freaking out because he wanted to wear them so bad and it was 
extremely hot outside and so I we put it on but then he I told him he couldn't wear it to dinner and he was having a big old fit so when he wakes up and comes downstairs I'm sure he's gonna want to put this back on <laughs> so I got these thermal sets he loves wearing warm cozy clothes pants jackets all year long so I thought I'd get these for the fall time they're the modern moments by Gerber I got him a size 5t Again, I like things a little bit bigger so they have room to grow and in case they shrink a little bit when I wash them. This came in a set with the blue and the gray. I thought these would be nice to mix and match with like other pants. I don't have to do the matching thermal. I can do, I'll show you these are really cute too. Um, jeans too. So this came in a set of two and then these pants came in a set of two. And these could even be pajamas but or just like a loungy outfit i love this color with the olive green and the ivory i just rolled the uh foot of these when i put them on him and they're just a little baggy on him like a four would fit perfectly but again room to grow okay this i saw online too i thought this was so cute they had like five different colors same brand modern moments and i got him a 5t in the jacket I just love this color, like the orangey, camely brown. That'll be perfect for a ton of things. I also, when I'm buying stuff for the kids, I like them all to kind of be able to go together. And I think boy clothes are easier to do that. Like the girls like really, I mean, they pick this out, but they also like really bright, colorful things. So their, their like tone of clothing is definitely not as interchangeable <laughs> as Owen's is. Okay, and then this, these were in a pack of two as well. I think they were Wonder Nation and I got extra small. They look like a vintage wash. They're so cute. They're going to look so cute on him. Look at that. I love these. How cute will these be with these little, these little guys? And even just you know, until it's super cold because it stays warm here for a while, he can just do these with like a white t-shirt. I love little boy clothes. This is like my color palette. So it's very fun to be dressing Owen. Okay, I also wanted to share all of these hats that are Owen's. They're all from Walmart. I get all of his hats there because they fit him so well. And I think they're $4 or maybe $5. It was so funny. One of uh, their little friends at our co-op had this hat on and I was like, I have that hat too. <laughs> so the one I got him for his birthday, I, I don't know if we left it at the river. I'll try to put a picture of it. It's my favorite though. It's all black with, and then the top is kind of like bright colors, oranges, blues. It's so cute and I can't find it. So I'm wondering if I left it there, but we got this one, good vibes. This one says explore by nature. And he has a pretty big head. These are in just like the little boy section. This one he wears a lot. And then I like this one too, it says original. This was actually from Andrew's grandma. So yeah, we got a lot of hats, Owen likes hats. And then these are two shorts that he already had. These I pulled out of the dirty clothes, but I wanted to share them because they're the best shorts on him. Um, they, I don't know what is on here. He's got some black, like who knows what I got on here. They have multiple colors of these. They have a blue, a cream, a olive green, a black. Um, and I thought this color was really cute. I got him a couple pairs of shorts and this one when we were going to Texas because all of his stuff was getting too small for him. These are great because they have this elastic waist, but they still look like structured pants, you know what I mean? Like they're not just sweat shorts, but under a shirt you can't see this. So these are great for him too, just really comfortable. I also got some more art supplies. We go through art supplies very quickly around here. The girls just love to color all the time. So. These are both by Crayola. I got some more colored pencils. We have a wooden crate thing that I keep, I'll show you, in the classroom. And I put all the colored pencils there facing up. And it just, it looks really nice, but also it's just really accessible for them to use. And we use them pretty much every day that way. So I just have them all color coordinated and they actually stay like that. So we got some more of these because we're kind of running low on our color pencils. And it's nice to just get some fresh ones. Also got some more crayons and then here's some paper that I like to get we do a lot of watercolor or just painting and I like to get a thicker paper so it doesn't bleed and it holds up really nicely we do notebooking 
Um, and so we do, they draw a picture at the bottom, they write something that they have learned that week at the top and then we watercolor it. I don't know if the video will be up right now, but I have a video talking about that that I'll share. So this is really good paper. It's like really thick and kind of textured. So it holds on to the watercolor really nicely. This brand, Strathmore has a lot of other options for paper. So if you're looking for different types, this one's like specifically for watercolor. There's also a multimedia one that I get a lot. Um, and this is, kind of, I think this one's a little bit larger than the normal one. I'm not sure. No, it's nine by 12. So yeah, we got that. Okay, next I got Owen a lunchbox. He did not have a lunchbox. And we're actually doing this new little program for him one day a week. One of the, one of the moms in our co-op is doing a little preschool like adventure day for the kids who are three and four. So they need to bring a lunch. So he picked this one out. They also have a Paw Patrol one like this too. And then here's his water bottle also from Walmart. Violet's outfit is so cute. She's gonna do her hair for you. Well, it's kind of hard to clean the hair on my clips. Can I help you? Yeah. I can. Yeah. Owen's ready for the snow. No, I'm Luke. Oh, Luke is ready. Okay, so I wrote down my things of this past year. Just looking back, I wanted to kind of recap everything for myself so that I can start this new year off just with a fresh start and not do things that maybe didn't work for us this past year. I wanna really know what I'm focused on for kindergarten. Overall, I absolutely loved homeschooling the girls. It was, it was fun, it was great to have them at home and just have more time with them. Whenever people ask me, I always say the hardest part is just Owen, is just keeping him entertained and not disturbing us the whole time that's the trickiest part so if you have younger ones then it's just you know it's juggling all of it but i really enjoy teaching them and just seeing them progress over this year is so rewarding and really really special to see them grow and also having identical twins it's really neat to see the two of them and i've really over just one year seen their different learning styles their strengths their weaknesses uh, things that i had no idea about before and i can really hone in on those now this upcoming year and just all our years in the future and use that to my advantage as their teacher and just really you know help them flourish. I wanted to start off by my first thing that I loved was the curriculum that we use. If you guys want, I could do a full video on specifics and I can walk you through everything that we use on a day-to-day -day basis. Like you, so you can physically see everything, but I really loved what we used for uh, math, for reading. And I did, it was a little bit of a trial and error. I would say halfway through the year, I really got into a groove of what I liked and I got comfortable with teaching the curriculum. In the beginning, it's just kind of, you don't really know what you're doing and you just go with it and that's fine. Um, but now I'm like really understanding what works well for us. So the curriculum was good and we finished TK about halfway through the year and we started a kindergarten half at that halfway mark so we aren't really changing any anything curriculum based moving forward into the fall we're continuing what we've been using we're just i'm most likely going to be finishing it up in december that's what my guess is i kind of want to plan it out and see where we'll be by the end of the calendar year but it looks like we probably will finish it by then i also decided to do school year round into the summer and my reasoning for that was just so that we are not as rushed throughout the year i can take breaks if needed we got sick a lot this summer and so i didn't feel bad for taking time off from school because i knew we would catch up eventually and it just kind of takes some pressure off of me to be honest i feel like it makes me a little bit more relaxed if i know that oh we can't get to this for these days or whatever the case is and for holidays, I feel like it'll give us a little bit more leeway for just getting our stuff done. I will say though, for the summer, I've been way more relaxed with, with what we're doing. 
if we have plans with friends, like I'm gonna make the play dates. We've been doing a lot of fun things this summer. So it's not like we've been saying no to things because of school. Uh, I just squeeze it in when I can. So for a home, not much to do. We'll sit down and we'll get some stuff done. Also wanted to mention that I'm not rushing anything for Owen. He is three, just turned three. With the girls at his age, I was like starting on flashcards and doing all this stuff. He like no chance is even interested at all in that. I'm not gonna rush it. I've been reading a lot of books on how it's actually really beneficial to wait longer because they're more ready, they're more eager. My biggest like goal is to avoid burnout for the kids. So if I do a video, if you guys want a video on curriculum, I can also talk about some books that I have read that I really love and have kind of inspired me and um, encouraged me along the way. The second thing I wrote was our co-op. So I get a lot of questions asking about our co-op, how I found it. And actually it was just one of my friend's friends who made it herself because there wasn't something in the area that she wanted. So she just made a Facebook group and uh, kind of had people just invite friends that they know that are in a similar situation. And it just happened through word of mouth. And we've developed a Facebook group with 90 moms now. We had to close it because it was getting really big. And the purpose of it is to do things that we really liked doing in school growing up that just homeschooling at home wouldn't give you things like an Easter party, like little simple things like that. Um, last year I organized a painting party with all the kids. We did a little Christmas show. So just little things that are fun for the kids to get together. And we do things at least once a month. This summer we've been doing a little book club. We read Charlotte's Web and then next week we're doing a Charlotte's Web book party. So just fun things like that. And then we don't say like one person's in charge of all of it. It's kind of like, Whatever mom wants to take on something, then she can do that and plan that for everyone. And yeah, so my tip to you, if you are kind of wishing you had a co-op with that, honestly, I would say make one. Just make one yourself, make a Facebook group and just share it with people you know, people you know are homeschooling and it, it, I bet you'll be surprised at how quickly it'll grow. The next thing I really enjoyed was our nature study things. I really like doing unit studies, things that are kind of themed as we go. This summer we've been doing the Treehouse Schoolhouse Nature Study. So each week has a, a topic. So this week we're doing marine mammals. And like in the beginning of the summer, we did one on dirt and composting. We have wildflowers coming up. It just incorporates a lot of Charlotte Mason type of things. There's poems, there's copy work. There are songs, a lot of uh, drawing and visual aids, and I really like it. So uh, I'll link her down below, but that's for the summer. I'm not sure if we'll get finished it all in the summer, but I also just like doing unit studies. So when fall is here, I like doing stuff on apples and having things that we learn be kind of centered around a theme. I feel like it just makes it feel kind of encompassing of whatever topic you're talking about and you kind of get to like go deep into a topic rather than just like doing little things here and there it just makes it more fun and everything kind of goes together so i really have been doing liking doing those types of things another thing is notebooking i learned about notebooking from jody mockaby and essentially you have well it depends on the age so for the girls age and level they draw a picture at the bottom of their paper of something that we were talking about that week that they enjoyed and then they tell me a sentence about it something that they've learned something explaining the picture and then i write that down on a whiteboard prop it up in front of them and they copy that down on their paper and then you watercolor the like blank space and then afterwards you laminate all of them and you make a nice big notebook of all of their work from the year. So we started that this summer and so we're gonna continue it until like the end of the year. Um, and then with each new school year, I'll just bind everything for them and then they can look back on that over the years. I think it'll be really cool. The last thing I loved was when I would set up the night before. So when everybody would go to bed and it was just and or night at the end of the night, usually we just, are watching TV together. Before I go to sleep, I would try to 
print what we're doing for the next day because I don't have them right in our curriculum books. I actually just copy everything. And so I can save that for Owen. Um, so I scan everything and I print it out for them and I have it ready to go for the next day. Now, did I do that every day? Absolutely not. But the days that I did do that the night before it made our mornings much easier and it just made me more calm and relaxed. So I would prep everything, it all be laid out for them. And so in the morning we were just kind of ready to go. Let's move on to the things I want to change for the upcoming year. So the first thing is, well, I actually started doing this literally two weeks ago and it already has made a big difference. It's funny because when I first started homeschooling, my goal was to make it super loose and free and not structured. I wanted it to just be very like easy going and child led learning and all of that. Well, I quickly learned that our girls don't do well with that. They need structure. They ask me all day long, what are we doing? What are we doing next? They need to know what to expect and like things that we are checking off and getting done and not even just daily, weekly. So we have now like have a schedule for our week so they know, okay, Tuesday we have this and it just keeps them, um, it keeps them less anxious because they know what's going on. So now what I do for our school stuff is on our whiteboard in our classroom, I write down a checklist. And so I have four things that I like to get to each day. It is handwriting, reading, math, one math lesson, 20 minutes of our reading curriculum, and nature study. Nature study, and what that means is just something outside of reading and math, something that's a little bit just more like outdoors based, learning about something in nature. And so I just check those off when we do it and they love seeing like, oh, we got that done. And it just keeps our day a little bit more organized. So I'm going to definitely be doing that every day. Another thing is I wanna start doing our play dates with friends on Fridays and even maybe play dates and running errands because the benefit of homeschool is you have so much freedom and you have so much more time. It's crazy how much more time you have. Um, the actual book work that we do does not take very long and that leaves you with a lot of time for other stuff. And so you don't, I don't want it to be just so open-ended to where we're like not being productive with our time. And so what was happening is I was, you know, we'd schedule a play date here and there. And it just kind of makes the week feel a little chaotic that way. Um, if you're doing a play date sometimes on a Tuesday, it throws me off. And then maybe that turns into going out to eat with them or whatever, which is great that we can do that. But I think just for our family and our household, it makes more sense for us to have the stuff we're doing Monday through Thursday and then Fridays is kind of like our free day. Now that I say that out loud, I was going to have Fridays be my cleaning day. You guys can come down here um, where we clean the house together. Um, let me know if you, if you guys homeschool what you guys do. I would love to know. The other thing I wrote is I want to do more games, like more board games and just plan out these games because when it's just spur of the moment and they're like, let's play a game. I don't know what to do. So I need to, I want to buy some games ahead of time for us to have. Um, thank you. <laughs> and also just like games that we can make up, not just games that we need to buy because they love games. And the last thing I wrote was just plan out more. So plan out more in advance things like, okay, um, I know that Thanksgiving's coming up. These are the things that I want to do for Thanksgiving. Again, just so it's not day of, and I'm like, hmm, it would have been nice to have a craft today. You know, I'd like to have those things more planned out. So I think these are just things that you learn as you go, and I'm learning, but I've just, I've really enjoyed this year. It's been really great. So that's gonna be it for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed the back to school haul. Everything will be listed down below. Make sure to check out Walmart. They've got everything you need for back to school, and Again, let me know if you want a video on curriculum, books, and all of that. I can share that with you guys too. So I will see you guys all very soon. Bye.